Whether you are brand new to the concepts of minimalism uh, and decluttering, or perhaps you're looking for some renewed direction uh, or motivation perhaps, a 30-day minimalism challenge may well be perfect for you. Often people call this the minimalism game. Personally, I like to call it the minimalism uh, experiment. And this really kind of takes the sense of pressure and expectation off ourselves when we are embarking on this process. And a challenge or a game might be for some people really motivating. Uh, if you're quite driven, if you're an A-type personality, if you love organizing, if you're already into this path of decluttering and you want just something extra fun uh, to do or to do it with a friend, then great. But the idea of it being an experiment is purely just letting you dip your toes in and and really just bit by bit, day by day, start to stretch yourself and get to know yourself a little more deeply. So approximately three to four months ago, before our baby girl was born, I decided quite spontaneously, and perhaps it was the nesting vibes, uh, to really dig into this 30-day minimalism challenge. I have been decluttering deeply for about 18 months to two years, but my minimalism path started probably around 2013, perhaps. But it's only really been the last couple of years that I've taken this very seriously and felt and experienced the freedom and the spaciousness physically and mentally that comes with letting go of our stuff, letting go of the attachments to stuff and looking internally at our conditioning and our habitual behavior and responses to our own things and the things that we own and that, that really own us uh, most of the time and we don't even realize it. There is nothing particularly complex about a 30-day minimalism experiment. It's quite literally decluttering each day for 30 days the number of items each day corresponding to what day you're on. So on day one, one item, day two, two items, until you get all the way to day 30, which is 30 items. And this is, of course, where you might feel tremendously stretched. When I did this challenge recently, I actually did feel really stretched, but that's because I had already de decluttered hundreds of items from our, our family home, mostly my own personal possessions, of course, which sounds huge, but in reality, uh, the average person in North America owns about 300,000 items. So when we think about it like that, uh, a few hundred items is actually really not much at all. And we do live in a small home at the moment. We are moving uh, very soon, and that's another layer of motivation for me to continue on this path and this process. But our, our home is a three bedroom, one bathroom. We have no garage, no major storage or anything like that. Uh, so we have to live light uh, comparatively probably to a lot of people. Now, the funnest part was I decided to extend this or open up an invitation to my community to see if anyone wanted to do the challenge with me. And I had about 20 to 30 people say yes. And we created a small Facebook group for those people that were on Facebook. Uh, the vast majority were actually not on Facebook, which I was super impressed about. And we did daily emails. So the information went out in the Facebook group and over email. And from that, uh, after the challenge was over, I realized what a really, really wonderful, useful tool for my community and for you would be to put all this information and these resources into a brand new ebook. So that is almost finished and I will leave a link to that in the description below once it is ready. So come back here later if you need to, or leave me a comment in the comment section below if you would like me to link that for you once it becomes available. In the ebook, I actually have elaborated and expanded on and refined what we did in the 30 day community challenge uh, because I've learned even more since doing that and from other people's experiences and watch other people go through this process. So the ebook itself is going to be such an amazing, useful tool, especially, you know, at the start of the year when we had that renewed, refreshed sense of motivation for a new start and new beginning and really needing to reset our foundations in day to day life. So here in this specific video, I want to show you all the stuff that I removed from our home over the 30 day process. And it might also help to give you some ideas when you are going through this uh, experiment yourself. And even after the experiment was over within a couple of days, even, and then very particularly after I gave birth to our baby girl, I have been decluttering continually. And again, as I previously mentioned, we are moving uh, into state soon. And what better to really make you dig into those 
tricky decisions about the stuff that you own and, and see things with new eyes. Do I really want to pack this? Do I really want to carry this? Do I really want the risk of this being broken? That's a new layer altogether of psychology of asking yourself, you know, what if I was to be moving house and there was a, a chance of this being lost or broken? Like, what would I do with it? Would I rather it be moved on and know that it's rehomed with someone who actually really enjoys it and cares about it? Uh, you know, so these are great prompts and questions to be asking yourself, certainly. But let's dig into the 30 day content. All right, here we go. Okay, day one, we had a hot water bottle. Day two, a couple of pairs of winter socks. And day three, three pillowcase protectors, which I donated. Four sushi bowls in great condition from Japan. A few miscellaneous items, clipboard, tea towel, some cords, and an owl money box. We don't really carry any coins or cash anymore, so it's of no use. Again, some jewellery, a couple of trinkets or sentimental pieces, and a lovely bamboo tray. And then next up, we had, again, some further jewellery pieces, some malas, a dagger from my teenage years, another bamboo tray, earrings, a Ganesh that I'd collected from India. And then further beautiful jewellery pieces, which I donated for someone else to love and use. Some apparel, various clothing that I donated, shoes, a plate, clipboard, nail polish, face roller, sarong, apron, five foaming pump bottles, further apparel and a bag in brand new condition. Some gift bags, storage and a jute table runner. So pretty simple going to the charity store or the thrift shop for other other people to be using. Some towels and various linen, an empty box. Okay, and then a book, some little bags, a yoga mat bag and a bunch of socks from my husband. Next up, a collection of little girls apparel that was given to me that we don't need. And you can see a big mashup here of various items, a diary. I backed up some information in there that I needed. I gifted a plant. I sold my Gucci old sunglasses vintage and a few different pieces. Next up, a baby change table, a power board, apparel, and a beautiful set of bedding from India that I purchased on my first trip to India. And then next up, a big stack of books, a hat, some CDs I backed up a singlet top, a bassinet uh, mattress cover, which we didn't need any further. And then moving on, you can see a collection of stuff here. I actually cleared out our baby blue book. We didn't need a baby bath, another diary that I backed up information from, a photo frame, just a few random bits and pieces, magazines, and three tax returns and paperwork that I got rid of. And here we have a massive stash of CDs that I backed up the photos and the data on there, CD case, frame, clipboard, and a designer skirt, some champagne glasses. We don't drink champagne at all, and we've had them since we got married. Uh, a few miscellaneous items here, as you can see, a broken radio, a couple of notebooks, incense, a watch, sushizi, again, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, pens that I gifted on for free, a box of essential oils and a diffuser that I gifted, a couple of diaries and some old photo negatives, magazine, photo frame, further apparel, clothing, pencil case, and some beautiful headbands that I gave away to friends that I'd collected from my favorite store in India. And yeah, another CD I backed up, a shot glass. We don't do shots, so. And pictures, frames more apparel, two pairs of socks, and a bunch of empty essential oil bottles, which I specifically de-labeled, deep cleaned, and separated all the pieces and eventually put them in to be recycled, which is super important. If you have a collection of empty essential oil bottles, I do reuse many of them for gifts and myself. But these were a large number of excess that I definitely was not going to use. And then from here, again, same kind of thing. Like these are a bunch of jars that I'd kept hold of for a really long time thinking I'd re I would I would have a use for them, but I just knew they were all mismatched. They didn't go with what we had in the pantry. So I was going to move them on and a few other random miscellaneous items here as well. Then getting rid of, again, some bedding, pillow and sheets and old bits and pieces that I've been through, random lids that didn't have matching bottles, a large, busted vacuum seal bag that doesn't work anymore, an old toy, 
old notebooks that I'd use for yoga teaching, an empty CD case, and so forth, a tea strainer. Another stash of CDs, predominantly with photos on them from many years ago, which I have backed up online for digital storage. Some bed linen, a side table, a couple of photo frames, essential oil case, uh, and some dresses here that I either gave away or sold. So two of these, three of them actually, I sold online. So I was able to make some money from because they're good brands and in demand. And they're just not for me at this stage of my life. So I moved them on. And then further, we have a couple of skirts, some more apparel, more CDs, again, loaded up predominantly with photos, possibly a little bit of music as well, a hairbrush and some leather jackets, some bed linen and the chest of drawers. Now, this is a really great condition chest of drawers that we gave away. And the more storage you have, the more things you will store. So this was a great challenge for me to empty that out. A yoga mat, a bunch of malas that I brought back from India, a maternity dress, a sports bra, more CDs again, yoga tights that I gave to my mom, and I think another pair of yoga tights I donated, and a beautiful pair of shoes, which are from Portugal. I love these shoes. They're so comfortable, but I'm just not wearing them anymore, and I just held on to them for so long. But yeah, it was time to, time to reality check and let it go. Okay, our birth pool. Didn't need that anymore. Last baby, last home birth, and a bunch of CDs, a CD case, some swimwear, a top, further apparel, sports bra, yoga stuff, maternity tops, and some little paper doilies that um, I got from mum, and we're just not using them. So I gave those back to her because we didn't have a need for those ones anymore. Okay, we made it to the last slide. So whilst I spent the 30 days predominantly decluttering my own personal possessions, you'll see a stash here of our boys' clothing plus my own pairs of pants and socks and underwear, then another set of towels, which I donated to a pet cleaning company, which was really cool. And then just a few random bits and pieces, like a soap container that we never used, a tea strainer that was broken, an e-tag for the car, which I returned because we had an extra one and we really didn't need or have a purpose for this and then a couple of other containers and that's it so there you have it friends and thank you for being here i would love you to leave me a comment below are you doing a 30-day challenge are you inspired to do one have you done one before what did you learn most about yourself uh, if you again would like access to the ebook that i'm putting together please leave me a comment below and i will give you that direct link as soon as it becomes available. I'm so thrilled to share this with you. I feel like it's going to be very, very helpful, really supportive, but really easily accessible and super enriching. The ebook itself gives daily prompts with respect to decluttering and minimizing your physical environment and possessions, but there is also a little bit of internal you know, inner work that you can be contemplating each day. So that's a really, really nice sort of uh, double layer to the process itself. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you would like to receive more updates and videos on minimalism and mindful movement and motherhood. And don't forget to have fun with this experiment, inviting your best friend or a group of friends uh, or your community, your wider community into it with you. And I would really love to hear how you go. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.